Welcome into Wellverse Creations, everyone. We are going to make up this cute little booklet. This is in the Christmas at the Beach Digitals by My Porch Prints. And this is just going to be an addition to all the other fun stuff we've been making. And so I've simply cut it out, rounded the corners with a corner rounder, and now I'm just inking it all up. And the nice thing about a lot of the um, digitals in My Porch Prints is they have a pre-inked look. So if you're satisfied with that, you can just call it good. But I always like to add more. I'm even going to add some to the inside here and then do some fun designs with some stamps. Now that I've had such a fun time deciding on the interior pages, sizes, and colors, I'm going to do the center part of the book. And I thought I would do this cute little flip out. So I'm just inking this up. This is a little piece of cardstock that was in the kit. It was supposed to be a pocket, but I'm just using it like this. Here I am making these little hinges out of some scrap paper. And then I'm just going to hot glue those in place. This works great because hot glue dries so fast and then it's going to be ready for my little mini journal. So now I'm just carefully placing this so that it can open and close and just going to make sure that I have enough room there. It's kind of tricky to hold this in place and then get my glue, but again, this hot glue works great because it's nice and fast. See? Now that I'm sure of that placement, I'm going to go ahead and glue down the other hinge. That looks great. And then I inked it up really good to kind of stay with that antique aged appearance that I'm doing throughout this whole journal. Then I'm just going to use up a piece of scrap music sheet paper here, round the corners and make a cute little pocket. Once I've got that done, then I'm just going to kind of try this in, ink it all up and distress it. And then I'll be gluing it in place with hot glue. The Christmas at the Beach uh, digital kit includes these cute little tickets and then these little jars. And I'm going to use this whole uh, strand of these little tickets. Obviously, you can break them up and do like little um, hidden paper clips or something with them. But they're also great to record scriptures or um, prayer requests on. 
And so I'm just going to ink these up and the cute little jar. These small pieces of ephemera in this kit really look cute in this little mini journal. And I think they look good in that little pocket there. So cute. Time to decorate these cute little tags that I've selected for the front and back pockets. I decided to use this red fringe trim and I'm just going to glue this down with some hot glue and then I'm going to run a little bit of extra trim on top of it. So here I am just gluing that down now. This is what I call the snowball trim. The edges of this tag are dog-eared, so I decided I would follow that shape with my trim. So here I am just gluing it down on both sides. So once I got this done, I just didn't love it. I just thought it looked kind of wonky, so I pulled off all the trim and then I cut the edge straight, as you can see there. And then here I am just starting over and gluing on red eyelash trim. And then I'm going to follow it up with the cute little snowball trim on the top. So I'm satisfied with that. I think it turned out really cute. And here it is in the journal. So sweet. I love it. For this tag with the striped umbrella, I thought this um, twine was really cute. It looks like a candy cane. And now what I want to do is glue this little twisted piece of red and white twine across the top. Just making a nice skinny line there because obviously this little baker's twine is kind of thin. So if I keep a thin line, it won't show the excess glue. And then what I'm going to do is trim back the twine so that there's enough room for my knot to sit right there at each end. And the knots aren't very big, but I just didn't want it to stick up too high. And here I'm just pulling back a little bit and cutting out kind of a little notch there just so that I can fit that and have a, just kind of a smooth finish at the end. Now I'm just going to glue this cute little hanger in place. And I just put a little blob of glue under each area where I'm going to attach the knot. And this again is something you could come and grab for a gift. This would be so cute on a Christmas gift. So you can really think um, creatively with these digital kits. You can make Christmas cards. You can use these as, as gift tags. And some of the kits that aren't specific, you can use all year round for all kinds of gift ideas. And there that is. Isn't that cute? I love the way that goes with that little umbrella in the scene. And here it is in the mini journal. So I think that looks really good in the front and in the back to have those specific tags because they have the red and it looks so cute with this red stripe paper. Don't you just love that paper? That could just be used for so many different things. So now I'm just trying the pages in to see. Got our little flip out and I'm thinking I want to do something there. So this is the center of this mini journal. So I think this paper looks really good with the little um, flip out over on the other side. I love the starfish in this. So I'm just tearing this to fit because that also gives me kind of that aesthetic that I like. Especially when you ink it, it looks really good when it's torn. So I'm just going to tear this and fit this into place. Now I want to tear this so I'm just kind of in keeping with that distressed look. And I'm going to kind of tear this down and kind of make it go in a little bit, sort of like a half circle. And I like to purposely make it irregular because it really picks up the ink and I just love the look of it. Once I get it ripped just the way I want it, then I'm going to try it back in here and just see what it's looking like. Now 
Now I'm going to ink this up really good because ink just makes everything that you've done pop. See how it just emphasizes everything? And it'll really give a contrast there against the striped paper. It'll look really nice. Once I get this position just right, I just roll back the edge, hold it with my thumb, and apply my hot glue. And again, I like hot glue because it's instantly done. There's no waiting and this can't slide out of place. So you can see I've created kind of a side pocket here. And then it's going to be fun to select something to put in it. I love the way the starfish paper looks with the striped paper too. I'm just going to use this metal ruler to tear this music sheet and make it fit. I printed this music paper two on a page so that it was smaller for this little mini journal. And I already have some of it in this journal, so I think it'll look good in there. So I'm just going to slide that in. And it looks like it fits well. And then I'm going to use one of the bigger um, tickets. I think those are so cute. And I'm just going to ink that up. I love that those were included in this kit. I'm trying to remember if there was another My Porch Prince digital kit that had the large tickets. I think that's a really fun idea. Now that I'm done inking, I'm just going to try these in the pocket and just make sure that that's enough in there. That is quite a bit of journaling space there too. I'm loving that. I think that looks great. And so that completes the center portion of the mini journal. I like to put some different pieces in here as well, like that receipt. I got that booklet at the dollar store. And then I purposely made different size papers as well because I think it just adds some fun visual interest. And then I'm just checking to make sure I don't want to add any more pages before I bind it. I chose the same red and white twine to bind the book with and I'm just going to tie a bow. And then I'm going to tie little knots at the ends and just dress it so that it's got that same look as the rest of the book. And I'm just using a Cricut tool to distress the ends, just making them kind of have a frayed look. And then I'm just tying them off here. I decided this little mini journal needed one more embellishment here on the corner on the front. So I am going down this, I'm going to call it ribbon, but it, I think it kind of looks like a net. That's why I put it next to the boat. But this is found in the ribbon section in Christmas items at Hobby Lobby. And it has a little bit of sparkle to it, too. It's super cute. Gotta do a feather. I often include feathers in my crafts. And I specifically like these because of the teal color. I'm just getting that placement perfect before I glue it down. Once I get this feather down, then I'm going to pick just a couple more items and this will be complete. This mini starfish is just cuteness overload. So perfect for that spot. So I just hot glued it. And now for this really cute aqua colored shell. That small amount of embellishing added the perfect final touch for this little mini journal. I think that turned out great. 